good afternoon to all of you so today we are going to discuss the design of cantilever seat pile wall resting on clay stead so we will start so this is the cantilever seat pile wall so this cantilever seat pile wall so how it derives the strength this is one of the uh, important things about cantilever seat pile wall this cantilever seat pile wall derives its strength from the passive resistance of the soil below the dredge level okay so now uh, if you see the soil above the dredge level is sand the soil below the dredge level is clay and this is the cantilever seat pile so the thing is that uh, how the cantilever seat pile wall is deformed and in which cases the cantilever seat pile wall is being used so this cantilever seat pile wall is used when this total depth is of moderate height so it's a, a, a smaller depth is there then only we can use the cantilever seat pile then uh, where it is used it is used for the temporary structures uh, like in grace cuts uh, while contrarily to the canty anchored bulkhead so in anchored bulkhead used for uh, larger depths and the construction type will be dredged or bed fill type so this uh, all depends on if dredging is done before the installation of the seat pile wall and placing the bed fill so if it is before it is known as uh, dredging construction type otherwise it is known as bed fill so in this the statement problem is the if the soil below the dredge level is clay having a cohesion of 35 kN per meter square and the backfill is sand having an angle of internal friction of 30 degree so the unit weight of both soil assumed as 17 kN per meter cube so determine the maximum moment so why maximum moment is determined because the seat pile wall has a thinner section so the calculation of bending moment is very critical okay uh, so what is the development length this is very important in design flexure strength is given you have to find the suction mark so we start with the basics first this is the cantilever seat pile wall so due to the backfill it may deform like this as shown so if it deform like this the point o is the single point of rotation so if it deform like that the active pressure x towards left passive pressure towards right and below the uh, this single point of rotation the active pressure x towards uh, left and passive pressure towards right so in this uh, this active pressure is shown okay so the resultant active pressure act as a distance of y bar from the dredge level and for clay it is shown okay so this is p bar this is rectangular distribution this uh, triangular distribution okay so uh, this d is the embedded depth which we have to find find out okay so we will start with the uh, if this uh, wall moves away from the backfill the case is known as active pressure if the wall moves to a towards the backfill the case is passive pressure so k is given by 10 square 45 degree minus 5 by 2 kp is kp is given by of 10 square 45 plus 5 by 2 so it comes out to be 3 okay now we will calculate the active pressure at different level so this is the horizontal line is the dredge level okay so uh, this active pressure this uh, you can see in this diagram this pa bar what it is it's a triangular distribution so this stress the pressure is gamma hk gamma v no 17 kN per meter cube h is known 6 meter kv we have calculated 1 by 3 so it's 34 kN per meter square so the force active force is calculated pa which is uh, the uh, this triangular distribution so area of this triangle half base into altitude half base is p a bar this is uh, pressure into height so it's become half k square so we can find out 102 kilonewton per meter of wall now suppose at a distance y we will calculate what is the active pressure what is the passive pressure because uh, this is the passive pressure active pressure 
on this side so, so a kind of a resultant pressure acts so uh, at a depth y below the dredge level the active pressure is given by we all know active pressure is sigma v the vertical effective so in this case water table is not present so it's effective equals to total so it's sigma v a minus 2c root k so what is the sigma v so at some depth y below the dredge level so it is gamma h plus y minus 2c 2c is the unconfined compressive strength which is equals to uh, q u and k becomes 1 because uh, this uh, it is resting on clay for clay phi equals to 0 for pure clay actually and the passive strength at depth y is what sigma v kp plus 2c root k so this depth is y the passive pressure at some y depth so it's a gamma y plus q u so the resultant pressure is the difference of passive and active so it's passive minus active force so it's a uh, gamma y plus q u minus gamma h plus y so this gamma y gamma i cancel out so it's q u minus q u so 2 q u minus gamma h so q u equals to 2 c so it's 4 c minus gamma so at a depth y we have calculated so this is actually it's a p bar p bar is this this earth pressure distribution okay now uh, if we we can calculate the uh, what is the pressure acting at a uh, bottom this b so this is the end or end or the bottom of the seat pile wall so the passive pressure is we all know sigma v kp plus 2c root k so this distance so this is the top of the backfill so this is the h up to the dress level then it's a embedment depth d which we have to find out so it's a gamma h plus d the gamma h plus d plus q u because it will it will act toward left so because the point of below the point of rotation it acts towards left active towards right okay so okay and you can see this is the active this is passive but below it is the active will act uh, towards left passive towards right okay so we so we can calculate the uh, uh, resultant pressure okay active also sigma v k minus 2 c so in that case the active occurs at this so it's a gamma d so active pressure will be gamma d minus q okay so the resultant is the difference so passive pressure acts uh, the passive pressure acts towards right it towards left so passive minus active so it becomes a gamma s plus d plus q u minus gamma d minus q so it comes out to be this p bar dash this side okay so this is stress actually coming is gamma h plus 2 q 4 c plus gamma h now we can uh, draw the earth pressure distribution diagram so this is the linear distribution active pressure okay so this effective uh, force at, at, at a distance of y bar from the dredge level okay so this p bar we have calculated 4c minus gamma h this is 4c plus gamma h so based on this uh, this acts at the front of wall this acts at the uh, bottom of the wall so both are just uh, notice both are resultant pressure okay because active and passive both occurs and below it is the active occurs towards left and passive towards right so some effective so we have calculated effective at a depth y also so this p bar is given then at the bottom also this is given. okay now we will proceed further so we know q u gamma h we can calculate the magnitude obviously is 2 q u minus gamma h it will be less and this uh, gamma h plus 2 q u will be larger okay so now just see the diagram just below the dredge level the earth pressure distribution diagram this is the final diagram so how it comes so this is a triangular area this is the sorry this is a rectangular area this is the triangular area okay so the difference of two will give uh, this earth pressure distribution diagram okay so we have already calculated p bar and p bar dash so for static equilibrium the summation of horizontal forces are zero now what are the forces this active pressure p a bar p a, okay and then p bar and p bar dash these are the three forces so static equilibrium is what this p a 
then uh, this is acting at this side so minus p bar okay minus p bar into uh, this uh, what to say this is this is a pressure so p bar into embedment depth plus this is the rectangular okay so rectangular means p bar depth at, and this is a triangular okay so half b at. so half p bar p bar dash it act as at a distance of h okay so p bar we have calculated 2 q minus uh, gamma h p bar v plus p bar dash is gamma h plus 2 q u. so we will know this h but it is a function of embedment length and we we have not yet calculated the embedment length okay so we will proceed further how to calculate the embedment depth so it can be calculated so the for the equilibrium sum of the moment at any point uh, will be zero so we will calculate at the bottom or at the base of the sheet coil so how it is calculated three forces pa p bar p dash bar so how it so this pa from the base so the lever arm will be what this y bar plus development length so pa sorry embedment length not development so p a into y bar plus d okay then this is p bar so p bar this is the rectangular area okay and this so we if we subtract it it will come so uh, this p bar into the liver arm is d okay it's at centroid it occurs so it's d by 2 and this is uh, this is uh, okay this is the half bh so half p bar p bar dash into occur set 1 by 3 of this height so it's h by 3 okay so this is the generalized equation so it comes in terms of d d square so a quadratic equation kind of c1 d square so if we rearrange we will so just see this is d square so the the coefficient is 2q minus gamma h okay and then the component of d so d is pa and if this uh, d comes out okay then it is like uh, this is uh, minus 2 pa and c3 is what c3 is minus pa 6 q u gamma bar plus pa upon q u plus gamma h so we all know uh, this uh, c gamma h so we can know the coefficient also like c1 like c2 like c3 okay so by this we we can calculate uh, the embedment depth which is very much crucial for the uh, design and the ec economics of the uh, project so this is uh, very much uh, important to know the uh, development the embedment depth for the in the design of cantilever seat pile okay then what then there are few other things asked in the question so the calculation of bending uh, the maximum bending moment is important so if we draw suppose if we draw this is a vertical line if we draw the moment diagram it will go like this so at some point it will have some maximum moment why because this cantilever seat pile wall is a thinner section when you compare it with the uh, gravity retaining wall okay so because this is a thinner section so this bending moment is very important yeah, how much maximum it can sustain or uh, uh, it may come so the material chosen is such that the maximum moment moment will be registered so how so this maximum moment you just note, notice it uh, this is the uh, c point is the point of maximum c so at this point the maximum moment occur so the maximum moment uh, is based on uh, which thing so this is the passive force okay the passive force occur at point c this is y bar the resultant active pressure okay uh, up to dredge level that below dredge level this point c is y0 bar okay so this is uh, this is y y zero bar okay so this is y zero bar so this becomes pa into y bar plus y zero bar 
so this uh, up to this level only this p bar occurs so p bar uh, into uh, this liver arm y0 centroid at uh, depth by 2 so y0 by 2 what is uh, y bar y bar because it's a linear uh, distribution so y bar becomes uh, the centroid occurs at h by 3 so y bar equals to h by 3 now to calculate y0 bar we can equate the area because passive pressure and active pressure occurs okay so it's a we can equate it so this uh, resultant force p bar equals to uh, this uh, p bar this is stress into uh, y0 bar so y0 bar we can calculate p a we all know so we can calculate p a bar or we can write half p a into h or we can directly write half gamma h square k so square is on h not on gamma and p bar we have earlier calculated to p minus so y0 bar we can calculate so now the maximum moment will be p a y bar plus y0 bar minus p bar y0 bar we can know 340.9 kilometer meter per minute so now you can calculate the section modulus also because it will depend on maximum uh, bending moment divided by the flexural strain it is in mega newton per meter cube so we have written kilo newton kilo newton same unit so it comes out to be this much now you can also calculate the h depth so i think uh, your doubts are clear you will understand so try solving uh, more examples so you can understand the different types of problem uh, maybe water table is there maybe the resting soil will be clay or sand so accordingly the problem